What's up, everybody? I um, want to make a quick video today on the easiest way to teach your dog how to bark on command. And in theory, it's quite simple. The, the training part of it is quite simple. The hard part is going to be finding the trigger um, for some dogs because some dogs you can back tie, let's say, to this pole right here tie their leash to it, put them on a harness or, a, or an agitation collar, agitation co collar, I can't talk today, and, uh, you know, kind of tease them with a toy or some food, and they'll get very frustrated because they can't get to the toy or the food, and they'll bark, and then you can just put that behavior on command and teach it that way. Other dogs don't really, um, they're not really like they, they they won't bark from the frustration so if you have a dog like this the next best thing to do would be find something that triggers them to bark and my my dog honey was like this she wouldn't bark when she's agitated she just gets real quiet and she just you know at the very 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 least might make a little whine but there's no barking so what i did was i found a pole this pole right here and it's got this light at the top and I was out here letting Honey run around one night doing her business and just kind of being free to do whatever. And that light at the top looked like it was gonna fall off. And sometimes the kids in the neighborhood will swing on it and hang on the pole and do what kids do. And I didn't want the light to fall off and hit them in the head or hurt nobody. So I, just out of pure curiosity, I shook the pole and it made this rattling noise. And Honey came running over right, right away and started barking. And so I was like, huh. So I shook the pole again, she barked. Third time I said, bark, shook the pole, she barked. I said, good girl, bark, shake, she barked, good girl. And I built the behavior like this. I just simply taught her that if I, she hears the word bark, that shake is probably gonna be coming next. So I anticipate it. And then I kind of tricked her. I said, bark, and acted like I was gonna shake it, but didn't actually shake it and she barked and I, I rewarded her big gave her a piece of food loved up on her said bark one more time acted like i was going to shake it but didn't she barked i threw her a ball so it was a huge reward within about a week to two weeks i was able to say uh bark away from the pole with no hand gestures and any body language whatsoever and she would bark completely on command so if you guys have a dog that will not get frustrated and bark just simply get more creative, think outside the box, try to find something to trigger the dog, and start that training process the exact same way. It could be with a door knock, a doorbell, um, even somebody walking past the house or whatever. Just be careful what you're using as the trigger because um, you might teach the dog to bark excessively at the door when it, you know the doorbell goes off or the door gets knocked or bark excessively. Um, if someone's walking by and it might become a, a problem. So I like to do this pole thing because poles aren't gonna be shaking and driving her crazy naturally in the environment. So it worked real well for me, it was a perfect trigger. But think outside the box once again and try this. I promise it'll work. Honey, bark. Good. 